and I heard one bang, and I heard another bang. And as I've learned later, there were three bangs, but I have a feeling I slept through the first one. And then we got out of the bed, or, you know, bunk bed, out to the stairs, trying to get to the lifeboats. I don't know, John, this looks like this could be the last dive. Well, you might be right, Mike. You might be right. This is a pretty stiff breeze for nothing. Yeah, if it, if it stays like this, it's all going to get worse. Now we had to climb up one set of stairs, and there will most likely be about 20 steps on each. And as we just got to the first set, mom fell down the whole set of stairs. We just climbed up, and I'm standing on top, and I'm screaming. My head off. Mom, now I'm scared. Up to that point, my mom was scared about me. Now I'm scared about my mom. Uh, she did manage to get a hold of a railing, and she pulled herself up. We already could see people line up and starting to almost scream or being unruly or being scared of self. Rockets started to go off, fire rockets. Uh, I remember that one. Then the rule of the sea is that women and children, then there were Marines already there and allowing who will go into the first lifeboats. Okay. Then mom and her girlfriend and dad and I, we were chosen to get onto the boat. So they lifted us into the lifeboat and eventually after it was filled um, they lowered us now as i found out through history that half of the lifeboats were frozen up on top and could not get loose so there were only six or at the most seven boats were able to rescue people. So anyway, we get lowered. The boat is full, about 50, 60 people in the boat. And all of a sudden, they started to scream. The ropes are frozen to the boat. <laughs> Who's got a knife? Remember what I mentioned to you earlier when I fled Elby? <laughs> that knife I stole from my uncle. I had it in my pants. I gave it to a man. Eventually, they cut the ropes, which were, you know, quite thick, obviously. And that's why I'm alive today. 